Good morning, YouTube friends and my family. Um, before I start taking down the Christmas decoration, because this is the day after Christmas, so I plan on starting to do that, just want to notice how we set up this year's display, uh, nativity scene, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, I used the things I had on hand. We always keep a cross up there above the bookshelf. Um, so the only thing that's a little bit different is we went and got our pretty netting, you know, little princess netting, and we put it there. And then to help it to stay where it is, I had the idea to put the family Bible up there. At one point, I was going to turn the cross and to make it look like a star. I was going to add some, um, some point and some, um, just add in a couple other, um, like that, like two crisscrosses or something to make it to look into it more like a star. It's a decorative cross to begin with, so when it took much to make it look like a star. But anyway, I put it like that, and then here is the bassinet. Melanie put that together. Um, didn't use the didn't use the little um, apple crate and the little tiny baby that we usually use. Uh, she got this bassinet and the baby that was her baby that we um, bought for her when she was a child that cost a hundred dollars. That baby was one, I can't believe we spent that much on a baby doll, but we did because it feels like a real baby. It's it's weighted. They have those, got those at um, Casey Jones Village at a doll shop. Anyway, that's the one we use for baby Jesus this year. But right now I don't have any lights on. That's the um, dawning of the new morning coming in and just kind of illuminating everything. But in among the um, the netting, we do have some string lights. Let me see if the, I don't know if they'll show up. But anyway, let's try that. See, the string lights, because Jesus is the light of the world. Well, let's go back and talk a little bit more about how I got the display. When I put everything together, I just was thinking, you know, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, the Word was God. The same was in the beginning. So. I put the family Bible up there. That's a family Bible that my grandma Kelly bought for Mark and I for our wedding. And then those doves there on either side, um, got those at an Amish, an Amish store when I went with, um, Jake and Marisa and, um, Israel was just a little, little tyke. We took, um, we went there when we went to Ohio to visit my parents and to go see Jake's parents, um, we went to a little, um, like I said, a little store, and I bought those. So they've been up there on my shelf for a long time, but I like those. They kind of fit in. The Holy Ghost descended as a dove, remember? So that's kind of cool. The um, cross represents Calvary, of course, but he was slain from the foundation of the world. Just think about that for a minute. Isn't that incredible? And then um, there it is. It's all right there in that in that little display he was in the world but the world didn't know him but that's our job is to go into all the world proclaiming the gospel the word the word of God he is life and he is light in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily right there but he's no longer in the manger he's no longer on the cross but he is coming back for his bride it won't be long and we'll be arrayed in those veils. We'll be arrayed, arrayed in those uh, shrouds of light and glory. Well, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, there's my puppets. <laughs> They're listening in on the story. But anyway, there you go. That's a little bit about it. I'll probably think of more later. But that's the gist before we start taking it all down. The cross will stay up there, but we'll put it back in the center like it was. Put the family Bible back on our shelf in the other room in Edwin Elder Library and the bassinet and the baby will be put back up in the attic for another use, another year. And all the poinsettias, they'll all be put away.